Yes, I've just popped in to Poundland now. We don't need no stuff here, do we? I think we're alright for um, the cleaning stuff. What's that stuff there? It's just a normal pack. Everyone, welcome to Wednesday. How are we all doing today? Yeah, just dropped the boys off at school. So Ben's in such a happy mood today. It's unbelievable. We're a lovely he is. He was smiling and giggling. I know when his teachers come out for him, he was smiling, giggling, laughing, and then bouncing his way down to school, which is really lovely to see. We find that when he wakes up in a good mood, he has a really positive day. It's just when he wakes up in that mood where he isn't the best, he can carry on for the rest of the day. So I hope, fingers crossed, he has a really good day. It's a positive side anyway that he um, travelled fine in the car. Yeah, a couple of instances where it was tempting to bang his ears, but um, he, he soon stopped. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we just parked the car up. Stephen needs to renew his driving license because where we are, though, our post office doesn't do it because they haven't got like a photo beef. I think they need one of them. It's going to cost £21.50 to renew it. So do that. And then obviously, need to pop into Poundland as well, get a couple of pairs of jogging bottoms for the boys because my washing machine isn't being fixed until next. Is it next Thursday? The thirds that are coming out, so I just want to make sure I've got on a couple of pairs just in case um, I've leaking nappies, things like that for bed. I know my mum says she's going to do my washing, so we're going to pop into Wilco's in a minute, get some washing stuff for her because her machine only takes the liquid, whereas I use like the capsule things. So um, try and get them done and also then just do a bit of shopping. So it's just going to, just a quick flying visit to Banbury, obviously. In to Poundland now. We don't need no stuff here, do we? I think we're alright for um, the cleaning stuff. What's that stuff there? It's just a normal comfort thing. That's about actually three quid, no equivalent to 50 washes. Tell you what, I'm going to get some of them for mum. So obviously that would be for under my softener and stuff like that. What's that? Strawberry and lily. Normally I do take the tops off, explain what they're like. Wait for so we need hand wash, we have hand wash. We just put some in. Oh, they look quite cute, don't they? The little Disney plates, little bottles, little sponges there as well. We need to get some deodorant. Not deodorant the kids use, it's unbelievable, especially Sammy. Also, these look quite cute, don't they? These little Toy Story bath salts. No, so the kids absolutely love Toy Story. That's all we want from me, yeah? Oh no, the jogging bottoms on the bottom. That's what we want. So yeah, they're looking for some chocolate buttons for Sammy. Doesn't they've got any actually, have they? Only in there. And they only here, yeah. Um, what are they? Oh yeah, chocolate buttons, they do get back at them. Because obviously Sammy loves his buttons. Ben's still got some caramel at home, hasn't he? So we told you bought some of those smarty buttons and they're horrible, aren't they? Yeah. Even Ben didn't like them. I see here's the clothes range over here. So this, I said just get him a pair a couple of jog, jogging bottoms. Oh my god, yeah. That's not bad actually, is it £1.50 for t shirts? Where are they jogging bottoms? It's just normal t shirts around here, aren't they? Because obviously Prime Marks is closed. See, so yes, that's your driving license renewed now, isn't it? So it's going to be another 10, is it 10 years? Years, yeah. yeah, so it's pretty good actually because Stephen was worried because be 51 when that goes out again. <laughs> That's quite scary in one way. I know um, Stephen was quite worried because we got to the post office and he forgot his photos, but we don't need it, they do do because they have like the little photo booth, they took them there, so that, that's it's absolutely fine. So, yeah, and also we went for the shopping centre, it's quite sad seeing all those shops are empty, isn't it? Come on, I'll go get shopping. Yeah, so anyway, yes, we just popped to Aldi now to get some shopping. I know people say about it all, but when you've got kids, um, I want special needs, I'll only need certain things anyway, so I'm hoping fingers crossed LD. Yeah, so this week the Super 6 I can see got some onions, for the sugar snap peas, is it a mango, tomatoes, cabbage, and some iceberg 
better. So I think I might actually get a cabbage actually. That's something different all the time. But again, they're quite tiny. But again, again, that should be enough for us anyway. It's also then we could definitely get a broccoli. Again, Sammy absolutely loves broccoli, so stick that in the trolley. Um, Sam's also asked for a stir fry as well because he loves to stir fry so he can find me. They also got those sliced potato things because like, I can't seem to find them either. It's probably we don't normally come to this one, we normally go to the one um, back in Taster or back in them, but because we're in Banbury, we might as well call in here and get it done out of the way. So I'm not 100% certain where everything here all is here. Yes, that's good. So I just found the stir fry bricks. What's the dates? I know, some of the dates aren't that great on it to be honest with you at the minute. Um, also, I need to find some of his pies that he likes as well. Also, the chicken burgers. We've had those before, they weren't too bad actually, to be honest with you. Oh, that's different. Pork casserole, that's me. But then you're probably cheaper off buying some mints and drinks, not this, but do some pork mix and drink yourself. My lunch is they've got any. Have they got any? Oh, yeah, chicken casserole and dumplings. I want them for my lunch, isn't it? Yeah, one of them. But they're really nice, aren't they? They are really, really fit in. Just put it, they've got a nice seed split that saw that. A beef fill Yorkshire pudding. They're quite nice, they do, don't they? Oh, and they for chicken dinner. That was quite nice. Right, just check and see if they've got Ben's um, fish finger things he has. I don't think they've got any actually. This is, but one thing I've noticed, they seem to sell different products here as far as the house does. Oh, there, there we go. There they are. 6th of February, see if I get in 3rd of February, see what the dates here are really really rubbish today. I think that I should leave those ones for now. The pie looks quite nice, isn't it? I think they've got plenty of pies in the freezer anyway. I'll start to show them in the freezer. It's just like a little a shop, but it's not a big shop if that makes sense, but it's big enough for a top of the shop. Yogurts, Sammy definitely needs. They need baby bells, I'm not too quite sure. Let's get them a pack anyway because he, actually he's quite happy taking them to school with him. And let's, let's put some cheese in as well. As I said, Sammy's gone crazy for cheese. So yeah, so that's shopping completed now. Um, don't know if you find yourself, because we're at home more now, tell what the boys are eating loads more, aren't they? So of course our shopping bill's gone triple the price at the moment, so we've also got our usual bits and things here. I think we've got everything that Sammy asked for. I've still got his pies. So you can pick this up, didn't you? Sausage and ketchup looks quite different, doesn't it? They also got his pop tarts. Oh, it's the thing you can eat straight away. So obviously, and also I've actually even picked up a big massive packet of baby wipes down there. Got 12 packets of 64 wipes, it's not quite a good eye. As well as we get three loads of wipes. So anyway, let's put this away, shall we? At least in that way we can um chill out a bit more then have, have some lunch before you know it's time to pick them up this afternoon. So yeah, so just back from shopping and just putting the last last few bits and pieces away. So I think we've got everything we wanted, didn't we? Yeah. And stuff like that. So you can see the fridge is nice oh, and full. Yeah. Well, what did you do? That's, good, that's good, good. Yeah, really good, isn't it? The old sweet corn. Who doesn't love sweet corn? Tell you what, I love sweet corn. You put another butter on it. That's really nice. That is. I know Ben likes. Like... A bit of butter. <laughs> a bit of butter. <laughs> Okay, a bit of air, and I know Ben loves sweet corn, doesn't he? But when we have it like that, we have to um, get all the bits off from corn because he doesn't stand about taking um, biting it. He'll just bite the whole lot. So yeah, we also got Ben's pineapple juice. Oh, ben, Ben absolutely loves pineapple juice. So I've drank it, have it there. I don't like the taste of it. So it's well, I'm not eating pineapple, but I don't know if I could drink that. I can actually, but he put them in the fridge. So, no, he didn't have to, he doesn't say it was frickly well, does it? Yeah. And then for mine and Stephen's lunch, we've got one of these carbonara pasta baked things, obviously, we've got today. It serves, so it serves two. Yes, it two. Is, yeah. So, that should be right for me and Stephen for lunch. It's quite easy, it takes quick minutes. So, you can see it's cooking in the oven. Nice, you know, doesn't that look really, really nice? So, yes, excuse me, my washing. I'm going to take that down to mum and dad's before we go on the pickup. So, so yes, we're just doing the school run again now because I'm really used to this. And to be honest, I don't mind actually doing it now, do you? Mm. Uh, obviously, I think it's just something we're used to actually, to be honest with you. It just, <coughs> so it just costs our petrol, but we are supposed to be getting it back. Um, but it's a month in arrears. And how long have we been doing it now? So it's before Christmas? November the 21st. So yeah, I'm quite surprised. We should be getting some back soon. Sure, it might, 
have to send in a slightly reminder saying they're what's happened about our payment. They are working from home now anyway, anyway so we do know that, so they are slightly delayed and things like that. But yeah, we just dropped off all the washing at Mum and Dad, didn't we? Bless them, so they're going to say they're going to do it while washing for me. They can't guarantee they're going to get it dry, which I said, fair enough, just as long as it's washed. That's the main thing, isn't it? And hopefully, fingers crossed, they can fix my machine next Thursday. They did say if they can't fix it, we are going to get new for old, which is good. So I'm hoping in one way they can't fix it so we can get a new washing machine. Because as I said, this washing machine is 13 years old, 12, 13 years old. 10 months, 10 months, 10 years, 10 months. Is, that, is it 10 years, 10 months when yeah, Stephen yeah. done it? So who knows? Uh, more pens, really, they can fix it, they can fix it. If they can't, they can't. So at least either way, we're going to benefit. I put them in fixing it or get a new one. Um, not as if the um, size of it though is quite small, it's only a 7 kg one and then now if you get up to 10 kilogram ones, so I was looking just for lockdown wasn't we, at Curry's one. Best this, to get a big one when you might have clothes enough to I know, I really can't believe how much washing I have, so anyway, so most of like I said, that's going to be good for them. I've got all the softener and also the washing stuff for her, but that's what they don't matter. I said no, yes, so do you use it, it's not fair on them having to use their own. So anyway, yes, I hope your fingers crossed the boys have had good days and find out when um, we get home. And so it was surprised yesterday actually because I've actually been come to the car, didn't he? Again, yeah. I was really quite surprised that she'd done that. So anyway, so yeah, we'll see you at school in a bit. So yes, yeah, so we're just back from doing the school run now. Blessing Ben come out to us again today. Didn't that's two days in a row now. Mm. Well, they're actually no more than that. So four, if you count last week, it's about four, about four days, which is a real positive sign. I said to Ben, "Come on in, let's go home." So we got up off the floor, went to the door, and come found us, which is really lovely. Mm. Obviously, he's chomping on some pompe egg for his leftover from his snacks earlier on. Um, but they said he's had this chilled out day, which is good. He really enjoyed doing Jay Wicks this morning. He was bouncing around all over the place, which is a real good positive sign. I don't think he is. They said he hasn't, he hasn't ate much today, has he? I think it's because he's got a sore throat. He's got a bit of a sore throat, bless him on him. So that's probably... Screaming the face down last night. That's probably all the screaming and shouting yesterday, coming back home from, um... School yesterday, he so we had a real bad day home with him yesterday, so it's probably from that. Um, also, just give him some cow pole anyway, just in case. But coming home, obviously, he had the snacks and things like that. Really good to any home, really, really good. He was laughing and giggling coming back home. But he was also went to Aldi this morning, he bought some of these um, raisins and cranberry, good for feasts, and they were so he brought in some of them, and he absolutely loved those, didn't he? Yeah, yeah so, so he's just finishing off the last few. He, We've got there, what they, raspberries, cranberries, and also some, some little yellow things, whatever they are. So they look quite good, don't they, they do in there. So long as they keep some happy, things like that. And so, yes, apart from the head, he's probably not, it's been quite a quite good day. Been making lots of choices as well, making his opinions known, hasn't he? I yeah. <laughs> Ben does it anyway. So what we we are definitely going to do is, though, is from tomorrow... Obviously, he, if he doesn't make his taxi in the morning, also we'll, we'll take him in the afternoon. Not to bother the lunch for him or nothing like that. We'll just put some snacks back in his bag and those things he likes. Obviously, like his crackers and some pom bears and his um, baby bell things, which he absolutely loves. But it's definitely a positive, which is good. Obviously, they're not expecting him to be 100% straight away, are they? Yeah. So, it's just, like I said, it's all these positive baby steps. And stuff like that. So he's, yeah, like, so he's had a really good day apart from that. And also Sammy's had a good day as well. So he's, he's come back upstairs playing on the Switch. So let's see how Sammy is. So then, sweetheart, how was school today? Very good. What have you done at school today? Same Wednesday lessons. Which is? At MBC, Science, Technology, Geography and Extensions. Okay, what did you do in Geography? That my meow song. You are? That song I love. What song's that? Throw the Boys Around the World. Okay. What's this about Greece and some snow or something like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah? That's why I did with Raph. Oh, did you now? Yeah. Okay. So, for tea tonight, you've got a choice. You can have your pies, you can have a stir fry. Stir fry. You want a stir fry? Yeah. Okay. Well then guys, that brings Wednesday's vlog to a close. Yeah, and uh, not been a bad old day. Ben went into school this morning. Happy as Larry, laughing and smiley. And they said he hasn't had a bad day. 
not been perfect, but it's not been a bad day, if you know what I mean, has it, Cheryl? It hasn't been. Really, so obviously we're just going to go with the positive moments and things like that, aren't we? So like, and you probably there really hasn't really eaten much at school today, so I don't know if it's coming down with really, anything, but once Ben refuses food, that's, that's when you start to worry. But then again, I've noticed Ben, since he's had his breakdown, and he's obviously these anxiety, things like that, I noticed for a few days, he wants to eat constantly all the time. Then one day, then mm. flicks a couple of days after that, he won't want to eat anything. So who knows, tomorrow he'll probably get up and wake up tomorrow and feel absolutely peckish. But not as if he hasn't ate, he has had little bits of need. It's yeah. like he's been yeah. grazing type thing, just picking snacks and stuff. It's like, like he's, so. not, he's not hungry, but you can't force him if he's not hungry. You can't force him as long as there's something to drink, that's the main thing. But he's drank so much as well today, hasn't he? Yeah, he has drank too much today. The biggest yeah. problem yesterday, he was screaming so badly in the car coming home. I think he gave himself a sore throat, so I that's probably he why he can't actually. really swallow anything. All this head banging and screaming and everything else, it's just, you know, it's got to him where he's got to the point now where he's got a sore throat and now he can't eat properly, so. Yeah, I think he's happy there. Yeah. What have you got on for him? He's got on Sky News still after the clap for Tom Moore we've just done at six oh, o'clock. Yeah. So he was yeah. watching pictures, wasn't he? Yeah, put it back on CBeebies. Anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for joining us today. Um, as always, subscribe button, like button, comment down below. And we'll see you tomorrow for Thursday. And uh, same process again. Bye, guys. Where are you going, Kate?